Hi everybody, today I want to try an iPad game called Disney Magic Kingdoms. I used to play this game actually, but not for a really long time. It's been like four years since I've tried this game, so I'm just starting fresh because I do not remember a whole lot about it. Um, so here's our the intro video to the game. It's like in the Magic Kingdom and you can basically make your own theme park and uh, you can have attractions, buildings, stands, and they're all running, earning some type of reward or, or in-game currency. So we saw Maleficent, looks like she cast a spell or a curse. And here's Mickey and some characters on Main Street. And while this is going on, let me read just a little description from the App Store. So it says, create the Disney park of your dreams filled with beloved characters, exciting attractions, and special events. And join over 90 million players worldwide who have embraced uh, their inner child building their own magical place on mobile. So over 200 characters and um, adventure in over 1,500 whimsical quests. Build your own dream park with 170 plus Disney park attractions. Decorate and customize the park your way. Celebrate with iconic parade floats and fireworks. See Sir Hiss down there at the bottom of the screen and I'm so excited about that. I'm hoping whatever this event is that I can welcome Sir Hiss as a character. Okay, can I zoom out a little? Yes, so let's zoom out before we even get started into this game and starting at the very beginning. Let's just take a look around. So I remember one of the things that attracted me to even want to play this game four years ago was that um, it looked good. Like I looked at the pictures and the graphics and everything and I think it looks so cute. The park looks really cute, the characters, and obviously of course it's Disney so I'm almost automatically just going to be a fan if it's something Disney. So there's a, a train. It looks like there's a train that goes by and there are the gates that take us into Main Street. Right underneath Main Street here, I'm going to kind of center it on the screen, is a little um, like a tower and a telescope and a bookcase. That little stage area, that is for Merlin. I do remember that. As we continue down Main Street, we can see a statue of Walt and Mickey. And then there's Cinderella Castle and it is all entwined and encased in Maleficent's curse. Let's look on the other sides of the castle too. There's um, maybe like a fantasy land attraction of some kind that's locked. Some areas that are all dark. So these areas are not open to us yet, but I know that, that um, they, we will open them and that's where we can put some attractions and buildings. and some uh, Alice in Wonderland area, Tomorrowland, I think Space Mountain. Oh, Space Mountain has a curse on it also. And there's little green portals. We gotta unlock those somehow. Okay, and here's, what is this, the Ferris wheel? Or no, that looks like a roller coaster from Disneyland, I believe. Oh, there goes a the train. And there's a portal to Star Wars stuff. This looks promising. Um, I remember when I played this game, I, I do remember, you know, again, some of just the basics of it. But I think I stopped playing four years ago because I was overwhelmed and felt like I couldn't keep up and finish all the quests and things and welcome all the characters because I did not spend real money on the game. So I remember being frustrated somewhat and I think that's what made me stop playing. But I'm interested in playing again, obviously. I, I wanna give it another shot and check it out. So if I start fresh, let's see how it goes. So let's zoom in on Mickey a little bit so we can see him better. Look how cute, like doesn't doesn't he look good? I th really think the characters in this game look good and they like walk around your park. Um, I think it's a lot of fun. So let's tap on Mickey. And there is Merlin. I love that Merlin is in this game. Oh, hang it all. This land has fallen victim to a villainous curse. Those are the worst kind of, kinds of curses, you know. 
This darkness will have to be lifted and the entire kingdom rebuilt. That's no small task. In fact, it will take a hero of enormous proportions. Gosh, who turned out the lights? And hey, where is everybody? I better take a look around and see what's going on. Okay, so here's a quest. It's called Try Not to Panic. It's a kingdom quest, not entirely sure what that means. I mean, we are in this kingdom, so I guess, of course, it's a kingdom quest. And we can tap go to send Mickey to search for answers. So let's tap go. Characters are able to complete activities that will help you expand the kingdom. Okay, so once you can see more of this box that says Mickey Mouse level one, um, which we can't at the moment, uh, you'll see that these boxes pop up um, basically when you tap on a character and then you can go send them on quests for a specific length of time and get specific rewards for doing those little quests or tasks. This activity will generate magic when Mickey completes it. So our little blue potion bottles are magic. And we get five stars. I don't really know what the stars mean. Is it experience maybe? So I'll tap go. And this task, it said, was only going to take six seconds. So that's good because, you know, we're just starting. So let's, you know, want to keep it moving and not send him off for like a couple hours to go do something. Okay, so his task is ended. So now there's a check mark above his head. So we'll tap that. You can buy magic with gems or earn it as a reward. Okay, you can buy the magic with gems, which looks like we have one pink gem, or earn it as a reward. Okay. You can buy gems with real money or earn them as a reward. Hmm, the kingdom is empty. Things are missing and all is covered in darkness. As I thought, we've got ourselves a curse. And it's a sort of curse only magic can break. We'll have to find all the magic possible. So Mickey's got another exclamation mark above his head. So we will tap that. Thank goodness the kingdom's caretaker wasn't caught in this dastardly curse. Magic here is running very low, but his search brought a little of it back. For now, let's use magic to clear the dark spell surrounding the castle. Okay, clear the curse on the castle, go. We will tap the castle. Oh, we need a hundred magic to clear it. And we have that because we have 200. Got a little timer there. So that's nice and quick. Swipe or tap to clear. I'm going to swipe. Ooh, it's looking much sunnier and happier in the magic kingdom. Huzzah, it worked. That means magic is still here and all we have to do is find it. If we can create enough fun and happiness, we can make more magic, rebuild the kingdom and clear away the curse for good. This quest is complete, so we'll get five stars, 100 magic, and we can like give Merlin a high five. So you can see in the top left corner, a number one in that star. I'm tapping it and it's not showing me what it is, um, but it's filling up. That star's filling up a little bit, so we are gaining, uh, again, experience or whatever it is. I will zoom in to see Mickey, but before I tap Mickey, I want to tap at the bottom left corner. It says quests. Oh, okay. Well, I'm tapping and nothing's happening. So let's just tap Mickey again. Gosh, I sure wish Goofy were here. He'd know just what to say to cheer me up. I just got to figure out where he is. Okay. So another little task, we can send Mickey to search for Goofy. Some activities also offer a chance to find tokens. I see a little um, goofy hat. I guess it's not a symbol or icon. I guess they're calling that a token. That is a common token. Okay, a lot of this, again, it's been a long time since I've played. A lot of this I do not remember. And this search for Goofy is only going to take six seconds. So let's press go. Oh, these tokens can be used to welcome new characters. Yes. Okay, that does ring a bell. So Mickey will do a quick search. done we'll press the green check mark there we go we collected a goofy hat token each character requires unique tokens in order to be welcomed to the kingdom the token you just found will come in handy to welcome goofy now what's this some sort of strange token has suddenly appeared i had best research the token's purpose further off with you now and mickey has another exclamation point so this I guess is just how we start for a while is doing little tasks with Mickey. 
Can I rotate the screen? No, I cannot rotate it. I can just zoom in and out. Um, and Mickey keeps kind of turning around. Hmm, now that I think about it, I believe I've seen these tokens before in one of my books. Yes, when combined with a little magic, I believe they can be used to bring our friends back. Let's try, shall we? Welcome, Goofy. I'll tap go. And now the bottom right corner, there's a symbol with a book that says characters and it's got the arrow pointing. It's part of our like instructions and getting started and an exclamation point by it. So let's tap that. And Mickey and friends. So Goofy is lit up and Daisy, Donald and Pete are dark. So the only one we can work on right now is Goofy. So let's tap Goofy. Here's the token Mickey found earlier. With it and a bit of magic, we can welcome Goofy. Okay, so the requirements for welcoming Goofy are on the left. We need one Goofy hat token and 200 magic. We have both of those requirements met, so they've got little green check marks, and we can welcome him, and that'll only take six seconds, again, to welcome him, so let's do it. It's like welcoming our first character, technically. Even though Merle and Mickey are here, Goofy's the first one we are welcoming. And I will tap the green check mark. There you go. I do remember that. When you welcome a new character, they appear here in front of the castle and like do that little intro scene. It's really cute. Okay, more info about tokens. You gather requirements and okay, some of those are tokens, right? You wait for the timer to finish and you welcome new characters. Okay, so that's welcoming a character. That's not so much like token info. Goofy, boy, am I glad to see you. What happened? Um, also, I hope nobody minds me reading all of these. I'm just trying to get through them. And I, yeah, I hope, I hope my reading them is okay instead of just um, like skimming right through and skipping all of the dialogue. <laughs> Gorsh, Mickey, first everything went all dark and then boom, I disappeared. And obviously I'm not doing voices. So we completed that quest to welcome a pal. We get five stars and 100 magic and we high five Mickey. Now Goofy has an exclamation above him. I'm not sure what's going on, Goof, but the kingdom's in big trouble. Aw, uh, don't worry, Mickey, I'll help you. Fixing big trouble is my middle name. Uh, yuck. Yeah, not, not even attempting to do Mickey and Goofy impressions. Not even. I'm not going to go there. I knew I could count on you. Put her there, pal. We can send Mickey and Goofy to celebrate. When an activity involves another character, you will see this plus sign. Oh, okay, so it shows Mickey here in the yellow box. It shows him at the top of the box with a little plus sign so we know Goofy needs Mickey for that task. It shows our rewards. It shows the length of time it's gonna take. So let's tap go. Okay, we finished our task with Goofy, pressing the green check button and <laughs> that what's new Game Center thing pops up again. We make such a great team. I bet we'll have the kingdom fixed up in no time. Okay, so let me just take a break before we press on Mickey again and see if there's anything else I can do or press. Like what if I tap Merlin's section? Nothing, okay. What about, oh, this theater has a gem above it. Can I press the gem? Oh, that's if you watch video ads, okay. That's locked, let me press it anyway. Complete the parade tutorial to unlock parades. Okay, that's a parade building. I just don't have, like what if I tap this? Complete more of Goofy's quests. Okay, so I wish I could show more about the buildings we can unlock and stuff, but as you, see, as you can see, I don't have a whole lot of options on the home screen. We have our, our star with the one in it on the top left, and I think that's the, um, like just my level. And then there's quests. Robin Hood is here, which I guess you can press that, or characters. Like there just isn't a lot else I can do or press right now. So let's just take a moment to press Robin Hood is here. This says defeat Pete and complete discovery six to start collecting limited time Robin Hood characters. Okay, so look at this little journey. It shows us along this dotted line. You are here. <laughs> We're very early. We have to welcome Woody, welcome Merlin, defeat Pete, and then we can try for the Robin Hood event. So this is gonna be a while, okay. Just, I wish I could share a bit more about 
the current event because I think that would be interesting, but I cannot because we are still in two, two early stages of the game. So let's tap Mickey again because it looks like we just have to get through some little quests here. Gorsh, Mickey, there sure are a lot of things missing. Missing. I know Gorsh, uh, okay, Goofy says it cutely, I say it very odd. Um, well, maybe we just need to find more information. Come on, let's go look for clues. Whoa, I may not know everything that's missing, but I definitely know something that's new. That scary gate over there. I don't remember the kingdom having any of these before. We gotta do something about it. Um, neaten things up. This gate, this green gate, let's tap it. And it disappeared. There, good as new. Not too shabby if I do say so myself. This curse is going to take every ounce of my magic, I can tell. Mickey at the gates. Okay, completed that. Level two? Yes, that is our level. Uh, we leveled up and we got some rewards. 50 magic and three gems. That's nice. Okay, Mickey, okay, I know there's more to do. Splendid, all this activity is unearthing more magic. I believe we now have enough to throw a little light on this darkness. Well, what are you waiting for? Go, go. We're going to work our magic, disperse the curse, and I'm just going to tap into this dark area here where the arrow is pointing. It's going to cost us 250 magic, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. Because I don't think I have a choice. I don't think there's anything else I can do. And I'm going to swipe. Oh, there's Maleficent. How amusing. Someone thinks they can dispel my dark magic? Well, they'll learn soon enough. This kingdom is mine now. Discovery rewards. Congratulations. We'll reward you with a couple of items every time you complete a section of the tutorial. Cinderella is a Discovery 6 reward. I'm going to press that question mark that's by Cinderella just because I want to see more about that. Okay, like it, um, again, it says we'll reward you with a couple of items every time you complete a section of the tutorial. So Discovery 1, we got the basics down. So Discovery 2 is attractions. Discovery 3, the kingdom is growing. Discovery 4, you're a token finding master. 5, you've mastered the tough stuff. And six, you're ready for events. Okay, and it did say that for Robin Hood, Master Discovery Six. Okay, I will happily take these five gems and 500 magic. There's Pete. Oh yeah, this here is my kind of place, especially now that all that bright and cheery stuff's gone. And, with all, and without all them kids around, I can finally get some peace and quiet. Yep, I think I'll call this place home. Hey there, Pete, you here to enjoy the kingdom? Hehe, <laughs> yeah, I'll enjoy the kingdom all right. Villains. As you progress through the adventures, villains will show up and be an obstacle. You'll be introduced to villains as they come in the storyline and they'll wander around your kingdom until you defeat them. Then they can be welcomed into your kingdom as a friend. Pete likes to bother Mickey and get in the way of expanding the kingdom. I couldn't have done better myself. This part of the kingdom is now free of that wretched curse. Unfortunately, it's also free of laughter and happiness, which is a problem. But I have a solution. We'll start rebuilding so that our friends can return. Let's begin with the fun wheel. Okay, so here is a ride-based quest, I guess. Build the fun wheel. And now it wants us to tap a new icon on the bottom right of the screen. It says shop. We'll press buildings. And Mickey's fun wheel, it uh, costs 500 magic to build. And it tells us the rewards in the white box. So every 60 minutes, we collect 30 magic and two um, stars. I don't know what else to call them yet. From Mickey's Fun Wheel. And if I remember right, you have to tap the Fun Wheel. You have to tap all the attractions and rides and things at the end of their timer to collect those rewards. So you're not going to get them automatically is my understanding. You have to tap every time to collect them. But I will tap 500 magic for now because we have 900. So let's get this um, fun wheel built. You can move attractions around by dragging them with your finger or using the arrows. Okay, I'm gonna 
Oh, I need to press first. When you are happy with the attraction's placement, you can confirm by tapping the check mark. So let's move it around a little, I guess. Um, I don't think there's far we can go. I think it's just this one lit up area that's not dark. Will the characters get in the way if I want to place it there? No. Okay. If they're, if they're just walking around, you can still place it by them. But if it's in a spot it can't go, it'll turn all red. Um, I guess I'll just, I don't know. I have no idea where to put it. Right, right here, right on the edge. There we go. And I can rotate with that yellow arrow too. Yeah, I think I like things facing this direction for now. To hurry things along, I have some powerful gems that will speed up this magic. I guess I'll tap it again, even though it's going to only take one minute. Oh, Mickey's fun wheel. Do I have to use? I don't want to use a gem. Can I just let it go? I don't want to waste a gem on that. We're just going to let it go. We're going to wait for 40 seconds. I will skip to the end here. Okay, that's done. Oh, cute. And there it is. Oh boy, rebuilding the fun wheel brought some friends back to the Magic Kingdom. Hey, little pip squeak, I told you I like this place without the cherry stuff. Get that eyesore out of here. Okay, um, Mickey says, no way. I'm in, and Pete says, I'm only interested in my happiness. That sounded like a threat. Get it out of here or else. Okay, so now we can see Goofy walking around. There he goes. And we can see the exclamation mark above his head. And he's waving to us to let us know he wants something. And we can also see him up on the top left corner. Um, which I am going to press that. But now under our level, our star level, there's a little Mickey head icon with a like a minus sign. I can't tap that, so I don't know what that's about yet. But let's tap on Goofy and find out what he needs. So he's got to find a way to help Mickey out. He'll grab my trusty hammer and make stuff. The action finder shows characters and events that need your attention. So it, up in this top left corner, I think they're calling that the action finder. And then the bottom left, the quest book keeps track of your active quests. Go icons take you directly where you need to go. Okay, so here's Goofy, level one. I'm assuming we can level up the characters. And here, scrolling through, are different quests we can send him on. Some with Mickey, but obviously all the ones, you know, later on are grayed out. We're not able to select those yet. So just at the very top, we can fix up the fun wheel, which takes six seconds. Or we can run in panic, which takes 60 seconds. But the uh, obvious difference is we get way more rewards. Well, not way, but relatively speaking, we get a lot more rewards for doing this quest rather than just doing another action. So I think when a character is not involved and you're not sending them on a specific quest, you can just pick from the list of actions to have them do so that you can still like put them to work and they can still earn rewards for you somehow. But right now let's have him do the fix up the fun wheel quest. Okay, so then when we sent him on that quest, he he went like into the attraction so we don't see him walking around while he's busy doing that. But now so the check mark on the bottom left by the goofy picture tells us he's done and there's a check mark over the fun wheel. So again we know he's done. Oh gosh. And the check mark is up in the top left too. You can't miss it. Goofy is done with that quest. And that was a short one which is really nice. A lot of these are to get us started. Um, so what do you say? Do I get the job? Am I the official kingdom handyman? And Mickey says yes. All right, we can see, now that we have an attraction going, we can see our guests around the attraction. All those kids are going to the fun wheel. There's Pete looking like he's plotting something. And here's Mickey, who obviously has another job for us. So Goofy's talking to Pete. He's mad. Everybody's ruining his peace and quiet. And uh, Mickey will have a nice peaceful talk with Pete. 
He's going to try and reason with him. So, okay, let, we're going to have him do that. But again, if we scroll down a bit into Mickey's just kind of general, I think, quest list, um, here's some other things he can do in the future. So there's Pete and Mickey, and where are they going? Oh, off to the side to talk, but Pete bumped Mickey with his tummy. Okay. And then that was, that was another short one, but I don't want to see Mickey get beat up by Pete this whole time. So let, for much longer, so let's just put him out of his misery. Next time he won't be so friendly. I hate to see you being mean. Mickey was trying to be a good neighbor, though. If I tap quest on the bottom left corner, can I do anything with that yet? No. It just shows quests above it, I guess. It doesn't, your active quests. It does not let me actually tap on that still. Oh, you know what? Shop has an exclamation point. So let's go follow that exclamation point. Um, there's Mickey's house. Oh, we can build Mickey's house. That is available. Okay, that's interesting. And this is food, um, concessions, and decorations. These must be attractions. So to build this house, it costs 500 magic, and we have 800. I don't know if I want to do that just yet, so I'll wait a little longer. And in the meantime, there's Mickey. I'm going to press that. We're going to need a place to plan and a place to rest and drink hot chocolate. I completely support that, Mickey. I love hot chocolate. Be nice to there's all one place. Build, okay. That was the quest. And we just looked at Mickey's house. So now we need to build Mickey's house. Tap shop. I just jumped the gun a little bit there. Go back into buildings. Pick Mickey's house for the 500 magic. Okay. And it, and it just kind of appears in open space. And we can put it wherever we have room. So I will just put it here right next to the fun wheel and that'll just take a minute to build okay it's all done now we've got room to think and rest oh boy gotta get me one of these places we're probably going to end up building goofy house at some point too now goofy has an exclamation point where do you store the extra burgers um you're hungry Send Goofy to make some burgers at Mickey's house. Make burgers at Mickey's. So some of these early little quests we have to do are progressing the story and some just kind of seem more for like a little bit of busy work, which is fine. I'm sure they can't have us just jump into absolutely everything. And there he goes. So he disappeared into Mickey's. That was very quick. So we tried to cheer up Pete part one. Now we will tap the Mickey icon. What luck, as our kingdom grows, so does its potential to recall its most important denizens. Welcome Woody. Um, this panel shows what tokens are required to welcome a character. Oh, okay. So yes, we would have to meet those requirements, collect enough requirements to welcome him, but we already have enough magic. Um, and we need a sheriff token. Yeah, token. And he requires one more sheriff star token. Tap it to see where to find it. Mickey has an activity that may drop the token you need. Focus on this activity for now. Okay. So if Mickey does that particular um, task, it has a common... Okay, what I'm confused about is, does that mean when Mickey does that task, it's common for him to drop that token? Or Mickey is guaranteed to drop a token, and that's one that he commonly drops? That I don't know, but we're going to send him on this very short task anyway. And he didn't go far. He stayed right there because it was only four seconds. I really like that you can zoom in on everything all the attractions and the characters because I like to see them up close. 
sometimes, I don't know. Sometimes I like to see them walking all around, but I really like that you can get close to them and take a good look at them. The character book will remind you to visit when there's something waiting for you. Okay, so, so on the left side, you can see a Toy Story like icon with the exclamation mark. So you, I guess as you're scrolling through, which I cannot scroll, it won't let me. Um, but if you were scrolling through, you'd know that that um, group of characters needed attention and you can see Woody is all lit up and he has an exclamation mark above his head. So we've met the requirements and we can now tap welcome. And I guess we can tap free at the bottom if we wanna skip those couple of seconds of wait, but it's only like five seconds. Okay, and there he goes with his little intro feature in front of the castle, so fun. Whoa, now that was a bumpy ride. This place seems a lot less rowdy. I think I better take a look around. Oh, okay. Magic Kingdom's attorney sex here's a special gift to celebrate with us. I'm gonna tap great, because I will take a gift. If they'll give me a gift, I'll take it. Oh my gosh, all these pop-ups. You can customize settings in the options menu. Allow notifications, no thank you. Okay, here's a gift. Uh, DMK Disney's Magic Kingdom's sixth anniversary hat stand. So now um, Woody has a quest, but let's take a minute just to look at him. So he walks around and then he will also like jump and wave and try and get our attention like we saw Goofy doing. Something bad's happening around here. It's his duty to make sure they're all safe. He's gotta be in tip top shape. We're going to send Woody to test his pull string. And Woody, go. That'll only take 10 seconds. And there he goes, he's actually doing it. That is another fun feature that if the character is able to stay outside and not go disappear into an attraction or a building, like they really are doing a little activity that you can watch them you know, participate in, like you can watch them complete. Like how Mickey and Pete were talking. Um, they had like a little specific action they were doing. And now Woody has a specific action for this task. So I think that's very cool and, and specific. There's a snake in my boot. That one's a classic. His pull string is A-OK. -okay. Congratulations, we'll reward you with a couple of items every time you complete a section of the tutorial. Sweet, thanks. So we got more points, um, level points. We've leveled up to a three. And we got Goofy's Playhouse. Okay, I think I'm going to pause here uh, because this is probably a long enough video. But I hope that this at least gave you a little decent intro and look at this Disney Magic Kingdoms game. Um, as I think I mentioned, I played um, several years ago. Like, I found my save data, and it was four years ago that I last played, which is crazy to me. I, I cannot believe it was that long. I know I enjoyed it at the time. I struggled to stick with it after a while, but um, I think I might want to pick it up again and keep trying, and I'm just not sure if I want to do that with my save data yet or I think I do I think I do because this game is so cute I'd like to keep trying but I know I'm going to be disappointed already if I cannot complete the Robin Hood quest and in, in Robin Hood event because I really want to welcome Sir Hiss and if I can't do that I'm going to be very sad so I'm sure if I start from the beginning like now I won't be able to but um that's oh that's okay I mean what can you do so yeah I just I hope this gave a nice look at the game and some of the basic information about how it starts like what you have to do and just know that there are a lot more areas which hopefully we could see a little bit from looking around there are a lot more areas that I have yet to unlock which means there are a lot of buildings and attractions and little concession stands and things that you can build and arrange in your kingdom. There's there's a lot. So we've only got barely started. I've only got a couple of buildings and um, there's like, what is it, two buildings and a ride? It's a ride, 
in Mickey's house. That's all I've got at the moment. I can build Goofy's house. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's going to take me a bit of time to get this rolling again. But I wanted to do at least a little uh, intro and sharing what this game is like in case it's interesting to you. And what I actually might do is keep playing this new game and do like a part two. So you can just kind of see if I play for a little bit longer, what happens after this point. And then that's probably plenty. So consider this part one, and then I will do a part two where we're gonna pick up right from where we're leaving off right here in this video. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you play Disney Magic Kingdoms, please let me know. How long have you played or are you a new player? Um, how do you organize all the, the buildings and the stands and things? And do you have any tips and tricks for the game? Because it just seems like so many tasks and quests to complete every event with new characters. And I'm already a little overwhelmed thinking about it. So yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. I will talk to you very soon. Bye. Thank you.